Hundreds gathered in Center City today in support of Meek Mill. He appeared in court in hopes of getting a new trial on a decade-old gun and drug conviction. Joe Holden was inside the courtroom for today's hearing that ended without a decision. Joe? Well, even though there, there is no decision, the fireworks were plentiful inside the courtroom. There is no love lost between these two sides. In fact, both sides traded barbs. The judge at one point calling Meek Mill's defense lawyer disrespectful. Meanwhile, he countered that she was acting as a prosecutor in what is supposed to be a very seamless process. Defense attorneys and legal experts are scratching their heads as to what is going on with this one. After two hours of squabbling and bickering, and who was or wasn't laughing out loud in the courtroom, Meek Mill's case continues to hang in limbo. Joe Tacopina represents him. I feel like I just left an asylum. Um, I really do. I mean, that was, that was a kangaroo court, if ever I've seen one before. Leaving the criminal justice center, the entertainer spoke first with CBS3. What's with this judge, Meek? I don't know what's up. I just don't. I feel like we went on the courtroom today was a disgrace to justice. At an evidence hearing on Monday afternoon, Judge Janice Brinkley questioned if an alleged corrupt police officer who arrested Mill on drugs and weapons charges from a decade ago was credible in his testimony at trial. The DA's office and Mill's legal team are in agreement. The rapper should get a new trial like 1,500 other defendants who were busted by tainted law enforcement. 1,500? Why? And there's no right to this. And anybody who was in present, who was present in that courtroom, knows why. We were appalled by what happened today, um, but we weren't surprised. Sixers co-owner Michael Rubin was in the packed courtroom, where at times the judge was seen laughing at a defense expert witness. Complete craziness, something you'd never see in a courtroom. A judge trying to be a prosecutor. Um, she's not fit to be a judge. Attorneys for Mill unsuccessfully tried to have the case reassigned. Again, lawyers asked her to step aside. She refused. I, I want a new trial based on the facts of the district attorney and my lawyer, both sides agreeing that I should have a new trial. And the judge indicated that she will be putting up a ruling on all of this. However, if she did hint a little bit, though, at one point as Brian McMonagle and the judge were going back and forth at each other, she said that another court will ultimately decide Meek Mill's fate, suggesting that she would be ruling against the defense at some point. That's the latest reporting live outside the Criminal Justice Center in Center City. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.